Hello, unicycle hockey fans! I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is My Sands 3 Minutes Max. In our continuing saga of the defense expert's role in digital forensics investigations, uh, today the role we're going to be talking about is understanding and explaining the context of the data. Uh, once again, I want to reiterate that all of the roles that I've discussed so far, they have nothing to do with my opinion or any expert's opinion, nor should they. We're speaking just to the data and that's it. So when we want to talk about explaining the context of the data, you know, in most cases, when I, when I get an investigation in and I'm hearing what has allegedly happened, if I'm hearing that, you know, well, law enforcement found XYZ on this hard drive, I totally believe that. I have no reason to not believe that. Why would you fabricate that? This whole notion that, oh, law enforcement is out to get me and, oh, they're planting evidence. Now, I'm not saying that that has never happened in the entire history of law enforcement, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say that in most cases, in the overwhelming majority of cases, law enforcement, you know what? These folks got far more important things to do than give you their complete and undivided attention to make life miserable for you. And that's the way I approach the cases. I don't approach them as though they're being prosecuted maliciously. Uh, but what I am saying is that oftentimes with caseloads being what they are, etc., etc., oftentimes, yeah, I believe this stuff is there, but how did it get there? And certainly in a lot of the cases across my desk, that is the big question. How did it get there? The prosecution didn't look at how it got there. They just care that it is there. So there, you know, what was the environment that existed on the computer at the date and time that this content, this material was introduced? And did that contribute to or was it irresponsible for the data that is being present? Somebody is surfing, a, a great example is a Whereas site where to download pirated software or gambling websites, the less reputable ones. They sell off advertising space on their website in little uh, blinking, you know, ad spaces. And the, the visitor to the site has no idea what's going to show up there uh, until they get there. And, and even then, once it's shown to them, if they didn't expect to get it, what should they have done at that point? Delete it? Call the police? Wow, I'm sure tech crimes would love to be getting a call every time somebody saw a child exploitation image on their computer that they didn't ask for. We have to be realistic. So we're looking at, is it there? How did it get there? Because that is critical. In the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.